News, Christian Nationalist 2023 Political Strategy Revealed. Recently, the nonprofit organization American Atheists warned about the likely strategy of white Christian nationalists in 2023 after the midterm elections. The warning is based on the findings of the organization's 2022 State of the Secular States report. Allison Gill, the vice president for legal and um, policy at AA, uh, explained that white Christian nationalism is unpopular among most Americans. That is demonstrated in the re defeat of Republican candidates in Pennsylvania and Arizona, respectively, as well as notorious lawmaker Lauren Boebert almost losing in a Republican-leaning district in Colorado. The 2022 State of the Secular States report also provided detailed research and analysis of abortion rights and access across the United States. The American atheists also foresee more Christian nationalist attacks on health care, including bills allowing hospitals and insurance companies to deny health care services based on religious belief. Um, they predict that the Christian nationalist right will utilize three primary tactics attacking reproductive rights through legislation, creating legislation that allows denying health care on religious grounds, and pushing bills that enable, pro enable proselytizing in public schools. Um, mm. So this was really informative. I really recommend that everyone go check out um, American Atheists 2022 State of the Secular States Report. It is super detailed. I read through a lot of it today. And um, it gives a lot of really insightful perspective on what happened in the past year, both in terms of what happened on the state level, and then also what happened in terms of on the federal level with the Supreme Court, the decisions that came down, not only in terms of Roe versus Wade, but also in terms of um, the, I can't remember the name of the case, but it was the case against a high school teacher in Bremerton who um, wanted to be praying on the football field. So it was the case that basically is now allowing prayer in public at schools, public schools, and other um, very, very significant changes um, to our legislation and um, makeup as a country. And so, yeah, go read that report. They even have a page by page breakdown of like examining all of the different changes state by state by state by state by state. By state. Um, and it taught me a lot. Um, so I, I really recommend people go check it out because not only does it give you perspective on like what the hell just happened, but also what they expect to happen going forward and how we can, oh, I don't know, organize to prevent some of these things. How? how? What? How what? How, how we can prevent these things. I, I don't know. <laughs> a, a lot of it has to do with like really dialing in to where they are going to be targeting their attention and then responding appropriately. So a lot of their analysis had to do with, say for, with the example of abortion rights, like when all these red states just ban them outright and are now continuing to rip out any exception to abortion that they have on the books, the blue states, you know, right next to them now set up sanctuary states or sanctuary cities where then you can go travel across state lines and get these services. Or maybe they might even be on like a border town where you can get these services. However, that has implications on a federal level because you're moving across state lines. And so even those things are likely to get challenged in court. So things are going to be challenged in court on the liberal side of things. Things are also going to be challenged in court on the Republican side of things. And actually, we're going to be talking about one of those challenges later in the show. So I can give you more explanation at that time. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.